Hello Ganofinians, this is your Ganofins here and welcome back to C++ programming tutorial guys. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you guys about the else statement. In previous video, uh, we talked about the if statement. Now, else statement is like as mandatory with the if statement because you will get some warnings if you not use that. And if statement can be followed by an optional else statement as I said. Uh, the compiler will test the condition. If it evaluates to true, then the code inside the if statement will be executed. Uh, here, uh, let me uh, write the state syntax here. And inside these, this is else statement, guys. Else, then the curly brackets. And inside these curly brackets, you need to write the code. Uh, for example, if the input is less than 18 then this statement will execute uh, you are not eligible for voting so that's what it will be executed now let's run it and if i input now less than 18 value you are not eligible for voting sorry that message got printed because we wrote here the else statement if you remember my last tutorial of c++ programming we did this that voting program here using if statement now we modified that program if the value is less than 18 now it will again print a message this is so good now you can also develop a many different kind of programs using if else statement these uh, are uh, so good statements you can also use else if statement for example else you just need to write else if then the condition inside these parentheses and the code inside these curly brackets for example if value of a is um, 17 you need to write double equals to if you write only single equals to that will be your assignment operator and in if condition you need to write double equals to always remember this thing guys now you need to write the code the message which you want to print if you want to uh, you are you are only one year One year younger, year younger. So wait one year. Now, if the value of A is seventeen, then it will print the message as that. If I input here seventeen, you are only one year younger. So wait one year. If I run it again and give it value under 18, like as if I give not 17, like as 16, it will print you are not eligible for voting. Uh, in that case, uh, this statement executed because that was 16. In the, that 16 condition is not fulfilled here, not here. That's why it went to else statement and here it fulfilled, it got true. That's why this uh, message got printed you can also use if statement inside a if statement for example if you are uh, greater than greater than or equal to 18 sorry if uh, like if you are equal equal to 18 else else if If you are equal to 19, a message will print it. Uh, you are 18. Sorry. Yeah, that's right now. And if you are 19, you are. 19 now let's run and if i input here 18 
you are eligible for voting you are 18 let's resolve this thing if i add here end l and which means end line and now again we took 18 now here that and l worked you are eligible for voting you are 18 and if i input here 19 you are eligible for voting you are 19 that's how a nested uh, if statement work you can also add um, if statement inside else statement you if you want uh, you can make a great program using if else statement these are very useful statements these are called decision making statement well i hope you understood about these if else statement in this video about else statement if you have got any query about this thing then you can ask me in the comment section below well thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that red button for getting updates and don't forget to hit that bell icon for getting notified on my every upload